To take good photos, you need strong elements to structure the scene. As many of us know, a scene is generally broken up into the foreground, midground, and background, each with their own impact on the viewer's eye. As we explore week 13 of our 52 week smartphone photography project, I'll show you the art of using your smartphone to get strong foreground elements in your images. If you've never used the foreground as a focus in your photos, well, think of it not as just an element in the photograph, but something guiding the viewer's eye, creating a sense of intrigue, and ultimately unfolding the story you're trying to tell with your photo. The first thing we should look at is depth of field. Mastering depth of field enhances the perception of space and depth between your foreground and the rest of the image. For those using a Samsung S21 or an equivalent like I am, the live focus mode is your secret weapon here. It allows you to create a shallow depth of field that blurs your background while keeping the foreground in sharp focus. All you have to do is make sure that you tap on the area you want to focus and you'll see the blur effect happening on your screen. It's meant to be used for portraits and headshots, but it does wonders for making the foreground the center of attention. To find it, simply go to the portrait mode in your camera app and select the blur option. For iPhone users, you're equally equipped with the portrait mode, a similar tool that provides the same blurry effect. The key here is to experiment, to play with these settings until you find the perfect balance of distance from your subject and the story you're trying to tell. As I've said before, the foreground isn't just a compositional tool, it's a storyteller. The viewer's eye will naturally start at the foreground before moving further into the image. This gives you a brief second to capture that attention. By carefully selecting your foreground elements, you can create something that either complements or contrasts with your main subject. For example, having tall grass leading into this lake will greatly increase the overall appeal of the scene. Another effective use of foreground is creating leading lines, or deliberate paths that guide the viewer's eye towards your focal point. And these can be found anywhere, from roads, forested paths, or even shorelines on a lake. Just ensure that the starting point is in your foreground. The only real rule to follow here is to make sure that there's something in the foreground that is meant to be interesting and tied into your scene. Use natural lighting to your advantage. For example, the late day sun reflects well off water and rocks, providing interesting contrast in your foreground. You can also hold your phone vertically or horizontally when taking these kinds of images. A horizontal shot will give you more of the scene around your foreground, whereas a vertical shot will lead the person's eye into the image. Perfect for those leading line images. As with other genres we've talked about, get low with your shots to help put the foreground right into the viewer's face. This is especially effective with putting your subject in the foreground, creating this vast world behind what you're photographing. And there it is. That is the art of using the foreground with your smartphone demystified. By applying these techniques, you can transform your smartphone shots into captivating compositions that tell the stories you want to tell. We encourage you to dive into this genre, experiment, and share your best creations with us. We're eager to see how you've harnessed the power of the foreground in your images. Until next week, keep exploring, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep shooting.